Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're looking at Easy Drummer and how to get all of its outputs into individual tracks in Reaper so that we can mix with our own plugins and have complete control. Let's start off with inserting the plugin and kind of setting it up from scratch. Later I'll show you my track template that I start with and it will make things much easier. You can skip all these steps and go right to loading my track template and uh, load it up with everything already routed for you. When we double click on Easy Drummer from the effects browser, it brings up this window, routing confirmation. Do you want to make 32 stereo outputs for Easy Drummer? If we click yes, then it brings up the plugin window. I'll pop that out, close that, and close the effects browser. And now we have 17 tracks. First one has the plugin on it, and then there are the individual outputs from Easy Drummer. By default, they're all going to be, everything's going out Easy One to begin with. So we need to go over to the mixer page. And to assign the outputs, we're looking at this section here, the number one about the drum name, or that mixer channel name. And we can assign the outputs here. There's also a shortcut, multi-channel, and click that, and it automatically assigns it. And now this preset that loads up by default has effects on it already, and it doesn't have all the same mixer channels that the original mix preset does. So let's go to the preset selection, Easy Drummer 2 Modern, and instead of the basic, we're going to original mix. Now a couple new channels came up, and all the effects were removed from this preset. And to set this up again, we need to go to multi-channel, and that just uh, puts the ambient mics on separate tracks. Now if we go over to the pattern player, we can play a pattern and we should be able to see it coming up on the individual tracks in Reaper. So if we solo the hi-hat, we see it on easy four. Solo the ambient mic, we see it on seven. Now we're not using all of those outputs. We're only using up to output 14. Depending on your project, you're probably not using the one shots, the shaker, the tambourine, or the percussion ambience anyway. So you could really do this all with eight outputs, but there's no harm in keeping them all separate. If you wanted the kick in and the kick out mic separate, that shortcut of setting it to multi-channel isn't going to work for you. You're going to have to set this to output, uh, output two, and then all the other ones will have to be moved down, output three, output four, output five, etc. Now, the other thing to think about to make this even more complicated is that uh, kick in and kick out are two separate mono mics. So really, they could go to one output. They could both go to output one and be panned left and right. Right? Right? And then we could use a mono send from this track, from the Easy Drummer track, to that track and have uh, just the mono output. You can already see that there's uh, some things that work automatically or close enough, and there's some things that could be a little more improved, sending the mono mics out to mono tracks, sending the stereo mics out to stereo tracks. We could have things named the right way, and what happens if we load a different preset? Do we lose all those things? So let's see if, um, if I load in a different library, such as the Easy Drummer 2 Vintage Kit, if that uh, comes up with the same outputs. And it does, kind of, um, but you see that there's different number of tracks and things like that. So ideally, you set up a track template in Reaper for each of the original mix kits that are, are available. So I also have the post-rock kit, and I could go to original mix. And here I have even more options. So actually, I have to scroll over. And this one is using 14 as well. 
But if we're separating out the three different kick drums to separate tracks, then we're actually going to run out of available outputs. We have 32 mono outputs, but only 16 stereo outputs. If all of these are using up stereo outputs, then we can easily run out. That's where the panning options for the kick drum might come into handy. So kick one, pan left, kick two, pan right, and then we're going to two tracks for easy one, and we're setting those to mono. One's only receiving on input one, the other one's only receiving on input one, or input two, instead of input one and two on one track. Essentially, these are all stereo outputs, and the panning control makes it go to just one side, just the other side, or both in the middle equally. Or anywhere in between, but you're probably not going to want to do that. So once you choose all the outputs that you want inside Easy Drummer, then we have to go into Reaper, and we need to set up the tracks to match the same names as what's coming out of Easy Drummer. So the first one would be Kick, second one would be Snare, Snare, third one would be a Snare Bottom, uh, you get the picture. It's a little bit tedious, and uh, it is worth doing for yourself, I think, so you can get it exactly the way you want. But if you'd like a shortcut, I'm happy to share my preset and get you going a lot easier. So I put in the hard work for you already. Let me show you my preset. So I'm going to right-click, go to Insert Track from Template, I'm going to my Instruments folder, and I'm going to Easy Drummer Modern Kit. And that just looks like two tracks in the Arrange view, but actually all the individual outputs are hidden because we don't really need them unless we're doing automation. Uh, we're not actually putting media items on those tracks. They don't need to be shown in the Arrange view until we get into Mix Automation. So I just hide them. And that I keep that as part of my template, just for organization. So it loads up with the uh, modern OG mix custom, and I don't, I honestly don't remember what the customization was there, but I think it was the, um, the mix routing. Right, so we're seeing it come up on the folder track and the individual outputs. If we switch over to the mixer view, got the folder track. This is all the audio outputs are summing into this. Uh, what's missing from this view is actually the Easy Drummer track. So we see that here, um, but not here. The MIDI track is hidden. We're not doing anything else other than the routing, which has already been set up for you. But if you want to see the routing uh, or see all the tracks, you can go into the track manager. We can just click and drag to show all those. And showing the MIDI the track I called MIDI here, which is actually where the Easy Drummer plugin will be. So going back to the mixer, and now you see all the routing for this track. So we've got kick in, receives audio from output one, and that's going to its own track. Audio two goes to its own track. So here I'm using, um, using that panning thing that I showed you earlier to get the maximum number of outputs out of Easy Drummer. There's 32 mono outputs, and I am using 20 for this kit. There's a bit of a pre-mixed layout here for the, um, the individual drum tracks, but it's, it's really nice to have fader control in Reaper rather than having to mix through here and having everything come out in stereo. So let's uh, grab a, a drum beat here. And you might be thinking, is there separate outputs for the toms? Unfortunately, that's one of the limitations of Easy Drummer. You only get a stereo output for the toms, and all this fancy routing that we're doing doesn't fix that. But the good news is that the Easy Drummer drums sound pretty good off the bat, and if you need to add plugins, it does take it pretty well. Not as well as some of the more raw recorded sample packs, but this is a great songwriting tool, and it should be easy and I've hopefully made it a little bit easier for you by sharing my track template. If you want this track template, you can click the link in the description and grab it, and just put it into your Reaper track templates folder. 
which Reaper will find automatically and save you a lot of time. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Thank you.